welcome students today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 6 tissues in today's session we will study about tissues differences between plant and animal tissues different types of plant tissues meristematic tissues types of meristematic tissues location and function of different meristematic tissues children in chapter number 5 cells you have already studied about unicellular and multicellular living organisms there you studied that unicellular living organisms are made up of only one cell like amoeba euglena paramecium and bacteria whereas multicellular living organisms are made up of more than one type of cell example human body plant body insects so in us or in animals so many types of cells are present and these different types of cells are specialized to perform certain functions each specialized function is taken up by different groups of cells these group of cells perform their function very efficiently like for example in human body there are so many such type of group of cells in digestive system and they perform the function of digestion of food similarly we have muscle cells nerve cells circulatory system etc same way in plants also we have tissues which are group of cells which performs a specific type of function like vascular tissues so in multicellular living organisms there is division of labor cells specializing in one function are often grouped together at a definite place in the body so what is a tissue a tissue is a group of cells that perform the same structure and function means it is a group of cells which are similar in its structure and perform a same function here in this slide you can see different examples of tissues like in case of uh, animal cells you can see connective tissues are there epithelial tissues are there nervous tissue muscle tissues are there so here if you will take an example of connective tissue only you can see that there are so many types of cells all cells are similar in its structure and they also perform a same type of function so biological tissue is a collection of interconnected cells that perform a similar function within an organism in other words it is a group of cells working together mainly inside an organ children there are certain basic differences between plants and animal tissues we all know that plants can prepare their own food but animals cannot so based on these basic differences there are differences in tissues of plants and animals so let us discuss about these differences animal tissues are little complex because animals are mobile so they require more energy hence more living tissues are required in them whereas in case of plants they are stationary at one place only they do not require to move here and there in search of food so their energy requirement is also less hence more living tissues are not required here in case of animal tissues animal move from one place to another place in search of food shelter etc hence they need more energy and there are more tissues present in them for production of more energy in plants most tissues provide structural strength to the plants various parts most of these tissues are dead tissues which can provide mechanical strength as easily as the living one and need less maintenance in case of animal tissues cell growth is uniformly distributed whereas in case of plant tissues the growth is limited to only certain part certain region in the plant in case of animal tissues structural organization of organs and organ system is more specialized and very much complex whereas in case of plants the structural organization of the organs is comparatively less complex 
due to differences in the structure and function of plants and animals there are different types of tissues which are present in them so these plant tissues can be divided into various types like meristematic tissues and permanent tissues the tissues which are present in meristematic cells are capable of dividing means cell division is a active process in them that is why these type of tissues are called as meristematic tissues when these meristematic tissues stop dividing they convert into permanent tissues or mature tissues so permanent tissues are mature cells that are incapable of cell division means they cannot divide further and these permanent tissues can be again categorized into simple and complex tissue where you can see that simple tissues can again be categorized into parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma and complex tissues can be categorized into xylem and phloem that we will discuss later on in detail now let us start with the plant tissues so first we will go through the properties of plant tissues most of the plant parts are tissues with dead cells because tissues provide mechanical strength to the plants cells of some tissues are alive in plants growth takes place in some parts so these parts contain tissues having continuously dividing cells plant tissues can be categorized into two categories as i told you earlier meristematic tissues and permanent tissues here in this slide you can see the picture of meristematic tissue and permanent tissue so let us start with the meristematic tissues the growth of plants occur in certain specific region children you must have observed a newly growing plant when you germinate a seed you see that its shoot part grows very speedily and similarly its root part also grows very speedily so there are special kind of tissues which are present in this fast growing region of a plant and this growth in this particular area is because of specialized tissues in these area that tissues are meristematic tissues these tissues are very much specialized to divide and redivide very fast and these are composed of actively dividing cells responsible for production of new types of cells capacity for division is restricted to certain parts of the plant body called meristems which are active throughout the life of the plant body this tissue occurs at specific regions of the plant body this is so because in plant body growth occurs only at these regions hence on the basis of this there are three types of meristems present in plants apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem here in this diagram children you can easily see all these three types of meristem here it is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem so let us start apical meristem it is present at the growing tips of the stem and roots and its main function is to increase the length of stems and roots in intercalary meristem it is present at the base of leaves and internodes which are present on the shoot part just below the apical meristem whatever part is there their nodes internodes are present so this intercalary meristem is present there and its main function is for the longitudinal growth of the plant the third one is lateral meristem it is present on the lateral sides of the root and stem and its main function is to increase the thickness of stem and roots now we will discuss about all three types of meristems one by one let us discuss about apical meristem first it is the meristem which is present at the tip of root and shoot and this particular region is called as root apex and shoot apex here the cells are actively growing very fast and the cells which make this part grows and divides very actively due to the activity of apical meristem 
the plant body keeps increasing in its length here in this slide you can see the picture of shoot apex and root apex children here this is a shoot apex and this part is root apex now we will discuss about intercalary meristem it is located at the base of nodes leaves and internode and they are also present between the permanent tissues and its function is to increase the length of nodal or internodal region and leaves so here in this slide you can see the location of these meristem intercalary meristem which is present at internodal region from where leaves are also originating the last type of meristem is lateral meristem its name suggests that it is present at the lateral sides of root and it provides secondary growth in the woody plants and you can see that this slide is showing a stem which has two lateral meristems they are the vascular cambium and the cork cambium so it forms the secondary growth in the woody plants in this slide you can see a comparative data of apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem on the basis of position and function apical meristem is the area of activity where the cells are dividing and that locates at the tip of roots and shoots so its position is root tip and shoot tip and its function is it helps in increasing the height and length of the plant by facilitating the growth of the shoot and root whereas in case of intercalary meristem it is the area of activity dividing cells that locate at internodal region and nodal region its position is same internodal and nodal region and at the base of the leaves and its role is to contribute to the increase in height with the growth of the internodes and increase in the length of leaves whereas in case of lateral meristem the area of activity dividing cells that locates at the lateral sides of stem and roots and its position is again the same lateral surface of the stem and root and it increases the thickness of the plant by increasing the diameter of the plant children now there is a activity for you here in this activity you need to onion and you know children that onion has a base a bulb a root side so you are going to utilize that part look at this figure very carefully now this in this activity we are going to observe growth of root in onion bulb so for this you need two onions with a proper root and in this you are going to take two glass jars and fill them with water now take two onion bulbs and place one on each jar as shown in figure i will show you that figure observe the growth of the roots in both the bulbs for few days measure the length of the roots on day 1 day 2 day 3 and so on on day 4 cut the root tip of the onion bulb that is in jar number 2 by 1 cm after this observe the growth of the roots in both the jars and measure their lengths each day for 5 more days and record the observation in tables like the table given below you have to make this type of table in your rough notebook and then you have to observe the length of the growing tip of onions and you have to find out the reading and you have to write that reading here from the reading you will get few questions The first question is which of the two onions has longer roots and why do the roots continue growing even after we have removed their tips and the third is why would the tips stop growing in jar 2 after we cut them all these questions are related to meristematic tissues only so you have to write down the answers of these questions in your rough notebook now children let us conclude what we have done in today's session we started our session with a general introduction of tissues in which we studied that group of similar types of cells which perform same function are called as tissues plants and animal tissues are different from each other because they have different requirements and plants have two types of tissues meristematic tissues and permanent tissues meristematic tissues are present in root and shoot tip when the plant is growing when this area is growing 
when these metastomatic tissues stop growing they convert into permanent tissues and then we studied about three types of metastomatic tissues which have different location and different functions now there are certain questions for you children you have to write down the answer of these questions in your rough notebook what are tissues and the second question is how plant tissues are different from animal tissues next question is what type of tissues are present in plants and next question is what are meristematic tissues and the last question is what is the location of intercalary meristematic tissue thank you